So this is the all new Subaru Trail Seeker. It's an EV and it looks a little bit like this. This is the updated Sol Solara, whatever its name is. But this is far more interesting. So first things first, look at the side profile. This to me is very Subaru out, out backish slash legacy wagon. Uh, and it looks more like a wagon, but Subaru says it's, a, it's an SUV. It's a two row vehicle. It's basically an electric car that, well, it seeks trails, right? Everybody's going for that overlandy 4x4-ish trim, but this makes sense because our roads suck. So they put beefier tires on it, although not horribly so because they're still eco-friendly to get as much range as possible. The wheels aren't exactly small. Now keep in mind that I know next to nothing about this vehicle, it's just premiered today, but it's all-wheel drive because it's a Subaru. There's a guy taking pictures of me, just completely ignoring me then I feel like that I'm here how rude um, it's got about 375 horsepower it is supposedly pretty quick nobody's driven it yet and it's the first really all new super in some time square steering wheel I have mixed feelings about this um, I haven't experienced it yet but I'm looking to try it this dash design it looks awkward it looks awkward as hell that said it may work I'm Let's see if I can turn this on. I can't turn it on, but it may work when you're actually driving it. So I'm not gonna say that it sucks. Um, you got two phone chargers over here, weird shifter. You push here to park. This is gonna be your reverse. I can't turn it right now. Neutral is push, which I can't do right now because the thing is off. Yeah. Eco mode on an electric car. Just It just has to make it smaller. It has an X mode which is their off-road mode. Again, I wanna see how this works on, on an EV, but it's an interesting, the dash design, prototype vehicle, and it wraps around nicely. And I, I gotta say, I kind of like it. There's more space over here. There's nothing tremendously different about it from what we haven't seen anywhere else, but this is gonna sell and it's gonna sell really well for Subaru good amount of legroom in the back it's available with a big panoramic sunroof although this one doesn't have it it's got a roof rack but it's not like an outbacky roof rack where you can have the crossbars in it uh, this is what I was doing before so you can't have the crossbars in it uh, you can add crossbars but then not like the, then like on the outback I'm going back around this thing has about I think I mentioned it it's got it's a 375 horsepower and and it's not opening damn it the trunk is not opening and I think it can tow 5,000 pounds, or though I don't know how far you're going to be able to tow it. Flattish floor when you fold the seat down. Visibility looks like it may be a little bit of an issue with, with that deep pillar. But overall, I I like how this looks. I love the door open. And yeah, the steering wheel is weird. I think this is going to be a pretty hot seller for them. Trail Seeker. They could have came out with a better name. There's so many cars named after trails any these days. Um, even on the EV, they're very proud of the fact that it's all-wheel drive. But just about all, all, all EVs are all-wheel drive. Charging port. I'm going to put some details about it in the description. Off the top of my head, I don't know what they are because it was just introduced. But overall, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. This looks really nice.